Hey Danny, it's Keith. Doing a video of the boat for you. First I'm going to show you a couple of things I've been keeping in the house. Uh, Garmin GPS. It's a 440S GPS and a Garmin fish finder. I'm going to try to pull them up and catch them in the camera lens. It's my wife about to flip that old bimini off. It blew off in a storm about nine months ago, a week before we put it up on the lift. All right, there's your GPS. It's color. It's got 3D bottom mapping. It's decent. It's a, it's a nice GPS. It's got brand new charts as of last year all over the uh, eastern seaboard. Um, there's your, we use this fish finder as a depth finder too. It has a depth finder function. So that's what we use it for. And the Garmin does speed really well. Better than any uh, speed sensor I ever saw on a boat. Uh, let me think. She's untying that thing. I'm going to get closer to it. Actually, this is a test of my video camera too, so bear with me. I had to swap out the camera. <clears throat> Been up on the lift about nine months, maybe ten months. Like I said, we put it up pretty quick after we put that lift in. We didn't even run the motors for the lift. I bought the lift from some guy. We put it up thinking that we would uh, bring it down and uh, sand the bottom and put a new coat of paint. I don't know what paint they put on it. There's not a lot. There's uh, one coat over top of the original glass. And it's, uh, I don't know, just not a very good anti fouling paint. So it's been dry for the whole time it's been up and covered. It's got a 175 six-cylinder uh, motor. It gets going pretty good. If I was going to keep it, I might put trim tabs on it and save myself a little bit of uh, gas getting up one step. But it gets up pretty quick. Uh, the transom solid is a rock. And 175 had a good uh, compression test from, uh, let me think, Baltimore Yacht Club over on Turkey Point. There's a, that's, my, that's my wife. She found a hornet inside after she opened it up. And there's a, uh, we put a, a new stainless torque prop on it. Um, yeah, I see it. Just inside the left hand, when you when you look inside, you'll see them. You can smash them with something if you want. Okay. Oh, kill it. <laughs> I might clean this up later and edit. She's pretty tough. She just ran a, a eight mile Spartan race, but she won't uh, she won't mess with a bee or a bug. Actually, her eight-mile Spartan race turned out to be ten and a half miles. Let me get on board here now. All right. So, like I said, it's a walk-around cutty, but it's got a step up and a new horn, uh, four rocket launchers, uh, good windshields. Holy smokes! I heard that boat start over there. <laughs> I didn't know what you were doing. Uh, it's got a bowsprit. Uh, for the uh, anchor, it's got an anchor, good rope, piece of chain. Um, the, the glass is a little old, but I don't think anybody's ever buffed it out. It's still got two nice whip antennas folded down. All the stainless gear, you can see it's in good shape. Um, besides the two pieces of electronics I showed you that have mounts right here, um, it's got a compass, the two mounts for those pieces of gear I showed you, and uh, not all the gauges work, but enough to run it. And the electrical system, like I said, it's old, but it works. Tell him what a fisherman would like. Uh, what would a fisherman like? He's got a nice new radio here. He's got a sound system over here with a weatherproof cover and new Sony with a couple of speakers. He's got a fish measurer. <laughs> See, a fish measurer, and he's got all these got, he's got, uh, he's got a bunch of wells. None of them cleaned out forever. We'll leave you a bunch of lines with it. It's got two batteries, one in this case and one here. And that's a, uh, a concierge charger that's hooked up to the battery, that's hooked up to the system. Like I said, it's two-stroke. So it's got a, a case over here for, uh, for um, the oil, for the two-stroke oil. And uh, somebody took the teak covers off of that. I hate when they do that because even though the teak's beat right now, if you pressure wash that and all that teak up, it's really nice. It's also got a couple additional accessory mounts for uh, rods. It's been added to it over the years. So it's got the four rocket launchers, a couple of other extra rod mounts. And uh, 
all the bimini brackets are still in place but it got torn out of them they're all still solid so the same size bimini for 300 bucks would give you really nice sun coverage in the cockpit here and i've driven it in the rain like that it was okay anyway that's what we got we're going to cover it back up